वेलकम एवरी वन एंड लेट स्टार्ट द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक विच इज कंपेरिजन बिटवीन द इलेक्ट्रॉन अफेनेटिक एंड इलेक्ट्रो नेगेटिविटी बेसिकली इलेक्ट्रॉन अफेनेटिक एंड इलेक्ट्रो नेगेटिविटी बोथ मीन्स द अट्रैक्शन फॉर इलेक्ट्रॉन्स मीन्स द एबिलिटी ऑफ एन एटम टू अट्रैक्ट द इलेक्ट्रॉन्स बट देर इज हेल ऑफ डिफरेंस बिटवीन दीज टू terms electron affinity and electronegativity because electron affinity is ability of an isolated gaseous atom to attract an electron and form a uninegative gaseous ion because the formation of uninegative gaseous ion is an exothermic process so the first electron affinity always carries the negative sign means electron affinity is the amount of energy released when an electron is added to the valence shell of an isolated gaseous atom in its ground state but in case of electronegativity it is also ability of an atom to attract the electrons but that atom must be covalently bonded suppose that this is a heteronuclear diatomic molecule consisting of a and b atoms and here is the shared pair of electron and the covalent bond is present between a and b which is due to the mutual sharing of the electrons suppose that the ability of a atom to attract the electrons is more as compared to the b atom so the electronic cloud will be bent towards this a atom it never means that these two electrons are transferred to a it just means that the electronic cloud is bent towards the a atom so ability of a atom to attract the shared pair of electrons is more as compared to the b atom so we will say that the electronegativity of a atom is more as compared to the b atom and the more electronegative element that will carry delta negative or partial negative charge and less electronegative element will carry delta positive or partial positive charge for example in case of hcl there is a pair of electron shared between them the ability of chlorine to attract the shared pair of electron is more as compared to hydrogen atom so electronegativity of chlorine is more than hydrogen chlorine will be partial negative and hydrogen will be partial positive so electronegativity is ability of an atom to attract the shared pair of electrons towards itself it means electron affinity is basically property of an isolated atom but electronegativity is property of a covalently bonded atom in case of electron affinity the atom attracts the free electrons towards itself but in case of electronegativity the atom attracts the shared pair of electrons towards itself so in order to study the electron affinity the atom must be isolated but in order to study the electronegativity the atom must be covalently bonded to some other atom it is property of isolated atom to attract the free electron it is property of the bonded atom to attract the shared pair of electrons it is a hypothetical concept mean just theoretical concept it is electronegativity is not a physical quantity it has no units it has no practical measurement so electronegativity is just a fantasy of the polling then how the electronegativity is decided basically electronegativity is decided on the basis of the polling scale he has devised this scale taking fluorine as a standard with maximum electronegativity value of 4 and you will see that there are no units which are used with this value 4 it is a dimensionless quantity it is a hypothetical concept not a physical quantity no practical measurement but in case of electron affinity it is a physical quantity its practical measurement is also possible and its units are kilojoule per mole in case of 
that is a special case that you have already formed a uninegative gaseous ion and you want to add another electron in this negative ion to form the dinegative gaseous ion. Now the second electron of entity that will be positive. Mean the formation of uninegative ion is exothermic but the formation of dinegative ion is an endothermic process. Why? Because electron and this negative ion both are carrying the same charge negative so there will be force of repulsion between these two species and in order to overcome the force of repulsion the energy must be provided that's why the second electron affinity and all higher electron affinities except the first electron affinity they all carry the positive charge now <clears throat> What are the factors on which electron affinity and electronegativity of an atom they depend? Basically, the factors affecting are same as that of the ionization energy. If you have not discussed ionization energy, then please go to my lecture of the ionization energy and first understand that concept, then it will be very easy for you to understand these two terms as well. Electron affinity and electron activity both are inversely related to atomic radius. Both are inversely related to shielding effect. What is shielding effect? I have explained it in a lecture of the ionization energy and both are directly proportional to the Z effective, mean effective nuclear charge. Because the dependence of both these terms, electron affinity and electron activity is on the same factors, so their variation in the periodic table, that will also be same. When you will move from top to bottom in a group, Atomic radius will increase, shielding effect will increase, Z effective will remain constant. So because of increasing these two parameters, the electron affinity and electronegativity both decrease. But when you move across a period, the atomic radius decreases, shielding effect remains constant, but Z effective increases. So decrease in atomic radius and increase in effective nuclear charge that will cause increase in the electronegativity and electron affinity. So simply the elements which are present on the top they have higher electron affinity and electron activity values as compared to the elements which are present at the bottom in a group. And in a period the elements which are present at left they are mostly metals they have low electronegativity, low electron affinity. But those elements which are present at the right corner of the period, they are usually non-metals and they have very high value of the electron affinity and electronegativity. The maximum electron activity belongs to fluorine and keep one thing in your mind that the minimum electron activity belongs to cesium, it is 0 0.7. Now what is the importance of these concepts actually? Electron affinity and electronegativity. As far as the electronegativity is concerned, this table must be in your mind and it is very important for the MCQs. If the difference of electronegativity between two atoms that ranges from 0 to 0 0.4, then the bond between those two atoms will be non-polar covalent. If from 0 0.4 to 0 0.7, then that will be the polar covalent bond. And if the difference of electronegativity between two atoms that is 1.7 equal to 1.7 then the 50% ionic and 50% covalent character will be present in that bond. But if the difference of electronegativity will be greater than 1.7 and maximum it can be 4. So the bond will be ionic and for a bond to be 100% ionic the difference of electron activity must be equal to 4 which is not possible as the minimum electron activity in periodic table is 0 0.7 maximum is 4 so the difference maximum possible difference that will be 3.3 that's why no bond in nature that is 100% ionic but the bond in which the electron activity difference between two atoms is 0 that is 100% covalent bond. So 100% covalent bond exists but 100% ionic bond has no existence in nature. Now just like the ionization energy there are certain exceptions in the electron affinity as well and what, what are those exceptions? The electron affinity of 2a is greater than 1 is sorry lesser than 1a 
रिगार्डिंग टू द नॉर्मल ट्रेंड वेन वी मूव फ्रॉम लेफ्ट टू राइट इन पीरियड द इलेक्ट्रॉन एफिनिटी इंक्रीजेस सो टू ए मस्ट है ग्रेटर इलेक्ट्रॉन एफिनिटी एज कम्पेयर टू वन रिगार्डिंग टू द नॉर्मल ट्रेंड बट दिस इज एक्सेप्शन डेट इट हैज लेसर इलेक्ट्रॉन एफिनिटी देन वन ए सिमिलरली फाइव ए हैज लेसर इलेक्ट्रॉन एफिनिटी देन फोर ए एंड एट ए यू नो डेट द एट ए इज प्रेजेंट एट द एक्सट्रीम राइट कॉर्नर ऑफ द प्रियोडिक टेबल सो वेन वी मूव फ्रॉम लेफ्ट टू राइट इन पीरियड द इलेक्ट्रॉन अफेनिटी इंक्रीजेज सो द एट ए मस्ट हैव मैक्सिमम इलेक्ट्रॉन अफेनिटी रिकॉर्डिंग टू द नॉर्मल ट्रेंड बट वी नो डेट नोबेल गैसेज हैव मिनिमम वैल्यू ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रॉन अफेनिटी एंड आई एम गिविंग यू अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट हेयर डेट इवन इन द केस ऑफ नोबेल गैसेज द फर्स्ट इलेक्ट्रॉन अफेनिटी इज ऑल्सो पॉजिटिव बिकॉज दे डू नॉट हैव एनी अट्रैक्शन फॉर द न्यू इलेक्ट्रॉन्स दे आर ऑलरेडी स्टेबल देर ऑक्टेड इज कंप्लीट सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू एड इवन फर्स्ट इलेक्ट्रॉन इन द atom of the noble gas you will have to provide the energy so the first electron affinity of the noble gas is that is also positive now why the elements of 2a and 5a this takes place so i am going to explain it because the mystery again here that lies in the electronic configuration first of all i will explain the comparison of 2a and 1a suppose that in 1a we are taking the example of sodium and in 2a we are taking the example of magnesium 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s1 magnesium is 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 that is the ground state electronic configuration of the sodium and magnesium now you can easily see that in case of sodium the valence electron is unpaired and it is present in 3s while in case of magnesium again the electron is present in 3s but the electrons are paired so if you will add another electron in case of sodium that electron will be moved to 3s but in case of magnesium the electron will have to move to 3p and you know that the nuclear attraction on the s electrons is greater as compared to the p electrons so that's why it will easily accept one electron as compared to magnesium i am talking so it will easily accept one electron while the magnesium will not easily accept an electron because here the electron will be added and pair of electron will form and it, the pair will be formed in s subshell while here when one electron will be added the first factor is that it will be added in p where the nuclear attraction is already less and the added electron will remain unpaired that's why the magnesium will not prefer to accept electron as compared to the sodium so the first exception is there in the second case when we say that 5a and 4a the electron affinity of the 5a is less than 4a so let us write electronic configuration of carbon from 4a and of nitrogen from 5 in case of carbon 1s2 2s2 2p2 that is ground state electronic configuration 1s2 2s2 and 2p3 now you can easily see that in case of nitrogen the p subshell is half filled so when it is half filled it will be more stable it will not accept an electron easily because accepting an electron will make it unstable after accepting an electron to be 4 that will neither be half filled nor completely filled so it will become unstable but in case of carbon if it accepts an electron its p will be half filled so when it will be half filled it will get more stable so as compared to nitrogen the ability of carbon to attract the electron that will be more it means electron affinity of the 5a will be less than 4a due to the extra stability of the p subshell so these are the exceptions in the electron affinity and electron affinity also decides the reactivity of the non metals and last i will tell you one thing that keep a point in your mind that what is the trend of electron affinity in halogens that is very important for mcqs of the different entrance test and even in the board exams <clears throat> in case of halogens chlorine bromine 
fullerene and iodine. This is the order of the electron affinity of the halogens. If I remove fullerene here, the remaining trend is normal because down the group the electron affinity decreases and the same is happening the electron affinity is decreasing. It means the exception is basically shown by the fullerene here. Fullerene has lesser electron affinity while it is present at the top of the group it must have higher electron affinity that is because of the reason that it has very dense electronic load what does it mean in case of fullerene the atomic number is 9 so in the first shell there are 2 electrons in the second shell there are 7 electrons atomic number is 9 while there are 9 electrons in the first 2 shells of the fullerene and the maximum number of electrons that can be accommodated in the first two shells that are 10 because the K can have maximum of 2 and L shell have maximum of 8 electrons so fullerene is having 9 electrons the size of fullerene because it is present at the top of its group and at the right corner of the periodic table the size of fullerene will be very small so in small size there are two first shells K and L which are almost complete so that will be very dense electronic load in the fullerene and that dense electronic load if we suppose that this is nucleus the electronic load is very dense so this dense electronic load will reduce the nuclear force of attraction on the incoming electrons so it is due to the small size of the fullerene and dense electronic load due to which the electron affinity of the fullerene is lesser as compared to the chlorine and bromine so I hope so that it is enough for electron activity and electron affinity. Take care. Allah